Hello again, welcome back. Cheap balls. So, quick tip for the new guy. So if you're a hunter, but you're new to coyote hunting, you gotta really understand this is a whole different thing. So you gotta prepare for it. Uh, they just come faster. It's a quicker shot, it's more action, it's faster. I'm not the rifle guys. But when we're doing shotgun, we're using a bow, it's in close, it's fast. So you gotta be ready for it. So as an example, like if you're a quail hunter, you know, or a duck, I mean, somebody get those duck flybys, and I guess those are kind of fast shots. But, I mean like a quail gets up, covey of them, you got time to stop, load your gun, you know, put the safety off, and pull down on it. Fly by duck, boom! No, not with coyotes. And they're in close, it's too fast action. So none of us that do the close in hunts ever use a safety. You gotta make sure you got a shell on the gun, and the safety's off, so you're ready to go. Because they come quick, you gotta be ready to shoot. Hello again, new guys. I'm so excited to bring you this hunt. This is a combination. This is two tips in one. It's a twofer. And I love this spot so much. This on my coyote sends number nine. And so I made up a little song to remind me of it. It's called number nine. It goes something like this. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. <laughs> Isn't that catchy? I love that. So it's a twofer. My experienced hunters, I talked about a funnel hunt. We have great big areas that come down to a narrow shoot. Boom, shagalaka in the funnel. New guy, you maybe don't have all those lined up, create your own funnel. I'm also always talking to my other hunters about our environment and adapting to our environment and our silhouette, camouflage, kind of blending in. I'm telling you, everybody in the country has this situation. You all have underground natural gas pipelines where they got some orange pipe. The coyotes never expect us to hunt by the natural gas pipelines. It's perfect. So create your own funnel and use that environment to camouflage your silhouette. No Look way, what I got here. No way, this is girl. like one of my favorite hunts. Okay, I got a nice funnel, it brings me to here. I set back up in here. Here's, I gotta get down here like this. Whoa, oh, whoa. Okay, well that was an accident. Yes, but yes, when you're down yes, low, yes. Okay. Can you call them in, you know, swing around, arm they go over there, boom! Whoop, 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 whoop. That's just practice. That's just practice. Uh, uh, but, so here's what Coach taught me. In this situation, he says bring a bag of hay to kind of camouflage the rest of your body. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, I don't know. and well, that helps I'm a little bit. Pretty good. Now, one last tip. Some of the coyote hunters, we usually have our safety off, we forget. We got a shell, we don't have a shell. Always shoot. So you know if you got a live shell or not, okay? Uh, hang on. Uh, Coyote, I'm filming here. Sit down. Why don't we get more shells? Looks like we got a lot of shooting today. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay guys, before I move on from hunt number nine, I need to make sure something is very clear. We do not go out and steal orange cones from every construction site. That would be wrong. That would be wrong because the other coyote hunters wouldn't know where they were when they want to come steal them. We must return our cones so that the next coyote hunter knows where to get their cones. Because we're not thieves, we're killers. This guy is clueless. Makes me want to shoot myself. Well, except for that no fingers thing. Okay, new guys, another quick safety tip. And I know, safety, safety. Really, safety is like my middle name. I mean, you know me as Coyote Bob, but my friends, I'm Bob Safety. My close friends, they just call me BS, because that's who I am. So. It's a little different coyote hunting. Pheasant hunters, they come to fences, oh, they hand their gun, they're worried about this or that. Boy, it's a whole different when you're a coyote hunter. It's hard to remember, is my safety on or my safety off? So we don't take any chances. We approach a fence, boom, fire that gun to make sure that you don't have a live shell in there, and then you don't have to worry about it, okay? And then we cross the fence. Now, the experienced hunters, they do this a little different. Many of those guys might come around here but this isn't near as safe. You could trip and fall with a gun that's loaded. 
And now you know that's the safest way to know you don't have a live round in your gun when you cross the fence. And then we pick up our gun, we put a new shell in, back at it. <laughs>